Hello Bayview members, well here we are, we're on the eve of club championship, the second attempt for this year, uh, hoping for sunnier skies. I'm here with men's league and women's league expert along with former Ontario champion Taylor Simino, uh, who's going to help break, us, break down the action for us this weekend. So Taylor, uh, we, we put a pretty extensive video out about a month ago, uh, highlighting some of our favorite picks for the, uh, for the coming championship. Let's see if there's anybody we missed this time around. So we're going to start with our women's sea flight division. Uh, Sonia Chan, Lori Chachanoff, Amelia Gilmore, and Leah Ran are all in the field. I'm a little worried that Sonia Chan doesn't quite have the reps in, only touching about 75 or 80 <laughs> games this year. So I'm a little worried about her, but who are you liking in this, in this bracket? I think I'm going to have to put my pick in with Amelia Gilmore this year. Okay, okay. I think I might go Leah Ran. I think she's going to set aside the nerves and, uh, and take this thing down. I can see that too. Okay. Moving on to the, uh, the men's sea flight. It's a smaller division. Uh, what do you see here? I think I'm going to have to go with Rob Lowry. He had a pretty strong showing in men's league this year, and I think he's uh, he's been building up to a good weekend. He's also a 12-month practitioner. He's put, puts a lot of time in the barn. I think that's a strong pick. I'm going to go with my second favorite Chahinian at the club, Ryan Chahinian. He's, uh, he's recently added a fade to his repertoire. I think that can be pretty dangerous on the par three, so let's see how he does. Okay, let's move on to two of the most competitive divisions in the tournament, the B flight. So in, a, in the women's B flight, we've got a couple past champions sitting in the mix. We've got Diane Clute and Rico Tamaki. Uh, I personally, my pick's gonna be Kathy Lee coming off a really strong eclectic performance a couple weeks ago. What do you like? I'm gonna have to go with newcomer Lucia Shin. She's making her debut this year and I'm feeling a strong start. Nice going with the unknown, eh? Yep. Okay, good. Uh, now we move on to the absolute toughest pick of the year. We've got 42 competitors in the men's B flight. Uh, I'll even give you a two cracks at this one. We've got Roberto Israel as a past champion, Andy Hollenberg, who's graduated down from C flight to B flight, and Russ Showman, the defending champion. Anybody else you like in there? I'm going to have to go with men's league bias again. Uh, Stephen Lloyd was on the winning team for the fourth consecutive year. Yes, he was. So I feel like he's, uh, he's just going to be riding the high. And I also like Scott Larmer, who's coming off of a good finish. That's a strong pick, strong pick. I'm going to go with a sentimental favorite here. Walter Chung was six under through five when the heavens opened up the first time around. <laughs> I think he's going to recapture that and take a run at it. And Troy Merrick has been has had a great summer this year, uh, performing really well in the men's invitational. So those are my two picks. Okay, now we've got kind of a double division here. We've got the uh, the women's A flight and the uh, and the club championship flight. So let's let you pick one from each. Um, the obvious one is Jackie Goldschlager. She's the betting favorite. Um, is there anybody else who can give her a give her a run? I think there's a lot of people who could give her a run. It's going to be a good uh, good flight this year. But I've got some money on Monica Bennett. She's also in contention for the senior club championship. Yeah, very strong pick. I think the Showmans have had a really good uh, really good run here of late the last couple of years with Mark and uh, Russell both winning uh, their respective divisions last year. I think it's Ruth's turn. I think Ruth's going to step up and and take down that A flight championship. Okay, moving on to the men's A flight and the championship division. Um, because this is such a sizable field with 29 athletes in it this year, why don't I give you a net pick and a gross pick? I'm going to go with my original net pick from uh, from the first weekend, Brendan Burton. I've got some insider information. I think he's keeping steady with his play, and I'm, I'm staying strong with that one. And then for my gross pick, I'm going to have to go with Gavin McQueenie. He's coming off of a pretty good finish at the Pizza Open early August, and I think he's uh, I think he's one to watch out for. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I think with my net pick, I'm going to go with Rob Waxman. He's coming off a recent GTA, GTA AM Tour victory. Okay. That's a pretty strong showing, so we know he's tournament tested. I'm really having a hard time picking uh, picking one of the gross winners. I'd like to see the James Littles back in the field, but he must have been playing the European Tour all summer because I really haven't seen much of him, so we're not sure what to expect. And then really deep down, I think it might be up to the youth. We've got uh, Max Rudy and uh, Zach McMillan, uh, Tyler Bunker, who's obviously coming off a recent tournament victory. And then there's Mark Shulman. Um, I, I, think, I think it's going to come from one of those. What about you? I'm going to have to agree. I think the youth are going to put up a pretty strong showing, but uh, it'll be close. It'll be close. Okay, that's great. And Teo, we'd be remiss after the time we had uh, the, for the first club championship without uh, taking a little preview of the weather. What, uh, what do you think? I think we should call the pro shop, see what they got on the radar. Great idea. Hey, pro shop, what does your radar say? Sunshine? Great. See you on the weekend. <laughs>